Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before then, hello again. Today I want to show you a really easy baked chicken recipe with lemon and turmeric. We all need a go-to baked chicken recipe and this one is really easy, simple and tasty. As always, if you want to see the full recipe then all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and that will take you to the blog where you will find tons more recipes. By the way, I just modified the format of the blog so if you go in now then you'll see that it's much friendlier, much simpler and you can even print out the recipe so you can make your own recipe folder. Now I'm going to go make this lemon and turmeric chicken, so if you want to learn how to make it, then keep on watching this video. The first thing that we need to do is to sear our chicken breasts. This way we guarantee that they're going to be nice and golden, and also we leave behind on the pan lots of flavor that we're going to pick up with a lemon afterwards. Season with salt and pepper, and it's very important that you leave it still on the pan so that it gets the chance to become golden. them over and repeat the same process. Once they're ready on both sides, put it on an oven safe dish. And now it's time to take advantage of all of that flavor that remains in the pan. While the pan is still hot, put the vinegar on top and let it reduce completely. Use a whisk to take away all of the flavor that's been stuck to the pan and that the vinegar is helping you take out. Now we add sage leaves and thyme for extra flavor. We then add a bit of turmeric, mustard and of course the lemon juice. with finely grated garlic and let it cook out for about 30 seconds just so that it loses a bit of that intensity. I then added a bit of water off camera and then it's onto the chicken. Then it goes into the oven at 180 degrees for about 20 or 30 minutes. It will depend on the size of your chicken breast or if you're doing thighs then it will be a bit more time. So I recommend that you kind of touch it and see that it's firm but not so firm that it's super dry. In case you want to be certain then you can use a meat thermometer and as soon as it hits 63 degrees in the center then it's perfectly cooked and moist. Now they are ready to serve. I like to garnish it with a bit of thyme and sage. That chicken is so nice! I really hope you liked that recipe. If you did, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. Please send me a picture if you make this recipe or any other recipe on the blog because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's any dish, sweet or savory, that you would like me to teach you how to make on a video, then please leave a comment below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any recipes, then please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.